What's up, you guys? I'm producer Ben Ford, and you click this video to learn about reason shortcuts. Let's get to it. Ben Ford ain't got a time. What's up, propeller heads? Today we'll be working from reason 11. 11! Ah, ah, ah just came out, it's amazing. I'm gonna tell you about it in another video. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this content, please hit the bell, you'll know when I upload. Now, back to it. Today we'll be talking about workflow and how using these 10 shortcuts will keep you creating rather than formatting. Before we start, you need to know we are excluding copy and paste and the most important, save and save as. We already know these are important. I don't think I need to explain that. So. Oh, one more thing. These keyboard shortcuts are based on the Apple keyboard. For PC users, command and alt keys change to control and something else. You'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get to it. Number one, QWR. Three different keys that affect your mouse three different ways. These are the go-to editing keys. I actually hover over these keys when I'm editing. Q is the selection tool. This tool allows you to drag, drop, expand, and collapse elements in the edit window. W is the pencil tool. This lets you draw MIDI notes in the editor. And if you have Reason 11, now you can draw multiple notes at the same time, like all kind of arpeggios. Look at that, look at that, arpeggio. All right. Yes, I'm excluding the letter E. I know it's on the keyboard, but E is for eraser, which is AKA the delete button, which I'm sure you can find either or. Finally, R. R is for the razor tool. This is the best tool for quick edits on MIDI and wave blocks. It allows you to cut the element sequence wherever your cursor is, depending on if snap is on or off. All right, so since we talked about snap, number two is the S key, which turns snap on or off in the edit window. When off, it allows creators to go beyond the rigid feel of quantization on purpose. How? You can slide parts of your sequence to achieve that feel, that vibe, or you know, <laughs> you know what you're looking for. Number three, shift and enter together. This action brings the playhead back to the beginning of the first bar of the sequence. So it takes you back to the beginning, beginning, beginning. Enough said. Number four, command and enter also together. Simply put, this is the record button. So if you don't have a keyboard with a number key, keyboard with a number section, this is what you use. Number five, comma and period, not together. These will be your best friends while recording Wave and MIDI. The comma quickly loads a duplicate or dub track while you're recording, and the period quickly provides a duplicate track while simultaneously muting the last track to provide you an alternative track, AKA the alt track. But both of these tracks carry over the settings, effects, and the levels that you had from the last one. Number six. Command and J at the same time. This allows you to quickly join elements in the sequence together, which makes it easier to move large parts of your sequence around. I mean, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Number seven, holding the option key while using the selection tool. There's a lot to unwrap here. So I know I said we weren't going to talk about copy and paste, but I forgot this was coming. If you hold option while using the selection tool, you can quickly copy and place elements in your sequence anywhere. The second part gets a little freaky though. If you hold option and go to the end or beginning of your MIDI blocks or waveforms, you can stretch or compress the elements to change the timing. This makes looping anything, anytime, amazingly simple. Try it. Number eight, shift or command for the mix channel manipulation. This is for the mix window. If you hold shift or command while selecting the bottom portion of the mixer channels, you can edit the levels of the selected channels at the same time. Number nine, function and eight together. That's another one, another one together. This brings up the tool window that allows you to manipulate quantization, pitch, velocity, note length, legato, tempo, note placement, reverse, automation, and note lanes. If you hit it again, it'll hide the window until you need it again, which you will. Number 10. M. M. 
M is for muting elements in the sequence window while in the edit window. Sorry about that. Let's do a quick recap. One is for QWR, two is for S, three is for shift enter, four is for command enter, five is for the comma and the period not together, six is for command J, seven is for option with the selection tool, eight is for shift or command with the option key, nine is for function eight, and M is for... I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. All right, propeller heads, let me know your favorite shortcuts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And since you've made it this far, you might as well just hit the bell. You'll know exactly when I upload the next video. Thank you to all my old subscribers and welcome to all my new subscribers. I can't wait to drop the next video. Peace.